The Warriors held the Utah Jazz to the lowest points scored by an NBA team so far this season in what was a 41 point splashing in Salt Lake City. Behind Buddy Heald's 27 off the pine, the Dubs became the first team ever to win their first two games of a season by 35 plus points each. Two-way menace Brandon Pajemski outplayed Lowry Markkinen and scored a team third most 15 to give Golden State an astonishing 76 bench points. Keep it locked for a film breakdown. Right quick, 77% of you watching right now are not subscribed, so please subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. Splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and follow at Hoops on Instagram and X for a follow back. Thank you for your support. You're tremendously appreciated. Trace Jackson Davis falsifying a handoff to Wiggins leads to him finding Stephen Curry with a slick dime, similar to an assist he made to Steph in the season opener we broke down in my last video. Clear corner pick and roll with Draymond and Trace sees Green hook up Jackson Davis with a lob. Buddy Heald would check in and promptly goes to screen for Curry, up fake on Keontae George to get him jump in and knock down an off the dribble tray ball. Loon Dog would clean up a Curry miss by hammering it to force a Jazz timeout before Buddy Buckets got right back to cooking by stepping into a triple directly off the jump ball. Steph followed his lead by stepping back into this beyond the arcer in the face of Cody Williams. In a pick and roll with Melton, proving he was worth hanging onto in a trade for Lowry Markkinen, Brandon Pajemski ISOed the Finlander with a behind the back dribble and spinning jumper over him. After Moses missed his first attempt from distance, Anderson kicked back to Moses in the corner for Moody's first bucket. Off an entry from Melton, Jackson Davis got the angle on Markkinen while also muscling through him and getting him jumping for the dude. The DeAnthony Trace connection again came to fruition, culminating in a TJD lob jam. Anderson getting loose in the short corner sees him float up a nifty runner. Curry, Wiggins, and Green surrounding Sexton and Draymond getting the strip results in a Showtime fast break where Heald lobs to Kaminga. On a partial fast break, it's then Kaminga returning the favor to Heald by looking at Wiggins and then swinging a buddy on the wing. Kaminga, this time legitimately swinging to Wiggins, is followed by Jonathan screening Markkinen for Buddy and Heald being unprotected perturbed by the late Sexton closeout, it can't be articulated enough how this man Buddy is straight cash and the perfect fit with this system. He continues to portray that by split cutting around a Kaminga pick, getting the Draymond kick, and hitting in Sexton's grill again for good measure. Turning defense into offense in a split second, Wiggins neutralizing Sexton's drive, Looney swatting it, and Steph outletting gets Buddy a take where a Euro steps to shed George. Some catch and relocate magic with Draymond and Steph, then sees TJD set across for Curry and Steph receive a beautiful one-handed skip pass from Draymond and connect. Steph losing control of the dribble on this isolation doesn't stop him from seamlessly draining this contested 17-footer. That's just pure all-time great shooting. Draymond handling as the one and spotting Steph on the back door leads to Curry getting blocked by Kessler, but Trace being in exemplary position to put it back. Curry smothering Sexton and knocking it loose right off the inbound finalizes in Wiggins getting a spot up and Stefan sellying. This baseline out of bounds has Trace tossing to Draymond, Curry screening for the inbounder in Kaminga, then Steph getting a screen from Jackson Davis before Draymond spots him for the triple. Big to big movement features Jackson Davis finding green, Draymond anticipating his miss and tapping back to Trace who cleans up the garbage. Trace gets one of his 3-0 boards on the night by collecting this rapid speed Curry miss swiftly. Stephen Trace PNR gets Curry a Dirk leaning back J from the nail. Stephen Gary Payton the second PNR gets the young glove to switch on to Mills and the two-handed flush. Patty Mills drifting off Curry just minimally after Steph's new splash brother in Buddy Heald gets a pick from Looney. Consequences in a Curry grab and fire. This new backcourt is getting ridiculous. Pajemski outletting to Melton who breaks down the D, then sees GP2 set a cross screen on Clarkson, and DeAnthony whip it around to guess who? Buddy Buckets in the corner. It's almost like this man never misses, as Heald's made 12 of his 16 three-point attempts so far this season, good enough for a 75% three-point percentage after the first two games of the season. There's 80 games to play, but if he can stay healthy, we're looking at a shoe-in for sixth man of the year. This was your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.